This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and I have got three guests today. I have got Elizabeth Snyder, you're from Balderson, but you're going to be covering the Perth area with me today. Uh, and I've got Michael Reikley uh, Lancaster, you're going to be covering Mississippi Mills. And I've got Armida Sawan, you're going to be covering uh, a, a committee we're trying to get going called PFLAG. And what we're going to talk about right now is June is Pride Month, so we're going to talk about that. So maybe, Elizabeth, you and I can get started. You are covering the Perth area. Uh, let's talk about what's going on in Perth to celebrate Pride Month. Oh, my heavens. Uh, a number of events. We just finished having a parade, and we just finished uh, a sunrise ceremony for honoring two-spirit people. And uh, Tuesday will be the Reading Rainbow, and that will happen every Tuesday over the month. Um, and that's going to be happening at the Perth Public Library for kids. And we have amazing readers that have chosen their books that they like to read. Uh, celebrating Writer's Pride, that's happening. Um, reading Rainbow. And then uh, topping off everything will be the dance at the end of the month, at June 25th. Excellent, excellent. And how about you, Michael? Can you talk about the Mississippi Mills area? Yeah. So this Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Elmont Public Library, there'll be a reading and drag by drag queen Heidi Ho. And then on um, the 18th, Saturday the 18th, we'll have an evening uh, at the Elmont Old Town Hall where we'll be uh, having a pride variety show. So a whole bunch of wonderful 2S LGBTQI plus talent. Excellent, excellent. There's so much going on too, you know, and, and uh, uh, what we, we originally had somebody from the Smith Falls area that couldn't make it today either, but uh, maybe she'll surprise us and join us. But w what I'd really like to, to, to uh, focus on right now too is, is the collaboration you, you guys did. You did Mississippi Mills, we've done uh, the Perth area, Smith Falls, and you're collaborating to put on these events and to celebrate pride. Mm -hmm. That's right, it's been amazing collaboration. You know, in case the person can't make it from Smith Falls, just to let you know that on, um, and I'm just looking at my notes here, um, June 11th, this coming Saturday, will be a drag show on Russell Street, which is great. And then on June 10th, which is this Friday, Rainbow 101 will be showing the uh, documentary, The Fruit, Fruit Machine. And it talks about what our government, and it's a Canadian government, did to try to get rid of gay people in the services. So, and that's going to be happening June 10th at the Trinity United Church. And so I just wanted to let people know about what's happening in Smith Falls. And you know, as much as we want to say we're celebrating Pride Month, so many memories like this must come up too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And we have to remember that, but we're going to celebrate moving forward for sure, for sure. So Armida, you're here to talk about a, a committee, a group that you're trying to get together called PFLAG. And uh, now I did write that down here. Can you tell p folks what is parents, families and friends of lesbians and gays? Can you talk about that? Yeah, um, we we're just getting this committee together. It's it's a group that is supports uh, parents and their families to uh, accept their LGBTQ 2S uh, children um, and just, you know, learn, learn about the struggles and learn about um, how to become uh, better allies to these kids and, and, and some of them are adult children to be supportive and to be accepting and, and the group, um, helps to bring that all into alignment. Um, and uh, and we're gonna be having, we're gonna be participating in Pride this year. Uh, our event is gonna be June 18th. We're gonna have a Pride family picnic at uh, River Park in, in Carlton Place. Excellent, excellent. And I mean, this is gonna be such a, an important committee, I, I believe, because you know, when you're raising children and they want to tell you that they are gay or, or lesbian, and you don't know much about it, you don't know how to respond, how to support somebody. So to have this kind of support, I think that's amazing. Yeah, and we absolutely. Need it. We need it. And we need it, and, and you know, the, the children are not, um, are not waiting for us anymore. Right, like they, they have a lot of people around us that are not parents, that are not their parents, that are supportive, 
Mm -hmm. And and I think it's time for parents to come to terms with the fact that um, the society is changing. And if if our kids don't find that support at home, they will find it somewhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, oh, and, and, and you, you, you want to, you, you expect to get support at home too, but when you don't know enough about it and you've got somebody like you that's going to be able to be a resource to them, I think that's great to learn more. Yeah. And it's, it's important to, to have that support at home. Absolutely. And, um, and we're here to, to help, you know, strengthen that support. And I mean, even if you, you think you understand it, but you don't support it, it's like you say, children are going to find it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So maybe we can just go around the table and too, we, and, and we can talk a little bit about what Pride Month means to you, Michael. Can we start with you? Yeah, I mean, for what it means to me is it's the history of Pride and and the fact that it started out as protest, and still there's an element of protest to it. It's showing people that we've been here throughout history, and we're still here, and we're not going anywhere, and. And, and the excitement of seeing people and during the drive out parade we had and walking parade in Perth on the weekend, just seeing the younger and younger people coming out and being who they are at younger ages, the more we need to do. So we've seen the positivity happening throughout our, our county and in Elmont, we've seen proclamations at our municipality for for 2SLGIA plus people, as well as at our county level and flag raisings and crosswalks being put in and just these positive things to show people, yeah, you do belong and everyone belongs in a community. Absolutely, absolutely. What about you, Elizabeth? What does, what does celebrating pride mean to you? Oh, uh, I look back in the first, my first pride parade and just that exhilaration and, and seeing that this weekend with, with, at the pride parade, and just picking up what Michael said and seeing the young kids and hearing Amrita say, the kids aren't waiting anymore for their parents to catch up. Kids are, and I think that's the evolution that we're seeing now is that kids are, are saying, um, I don't want to pretend anymore. I don't, I want to be me. And, and that's what pride means for me is that freedom to be who you are and to find your community, that's what pride is for me. Absolutely, and I, you know, I, 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 there has to be people that have lived a, a life not being the person that they are, you know? And that, that's, I hopefully, hopefully that was a long time ago and it doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. That's right, that's right. And what about you, Armita? What does, what does celebrating pride mean to you? For me, um, it, it's about being supportive of, of my children, of the of the children of the community who are coming out and not and not hiding anymore, and um, and to show the ones who might still be hiding that that it's okay now, right? And um, and like Michael said, it's the the legacy of pride is one of of um, protest is one of of uh, black and brown. Uh, queer folks uh, coming out and saying, we exist, we are here, we have been here, um, colonization has erased us, but we've mm -hmm. always existed since the beginning of time, queer people have been uh, part of communities, and they were loved, and they were cherished, and accepted, and spiritual people, and, um, and that's still there. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. You know, and, and I, I've got a social work background as well, too. And, and, and using the w proper words is important to me. So, I mean, I, I always I want to learn. I want to move forward. If I say the wrong word, I said that to you before we started. If I say anything wrong, please correct me. Um, can, can we go through, if somebody could, I mean, the pride flag has got a lot of colors in it. Can we go through what the colors mean? Does anybody... Michael, why don't you speak to that? <laughs> I don't know if I know it offhand. <laughs> Um, I just, I, do you, I, if you could just use some of the words, the proper words, just to, for respect, I guess, as a social worker, as, uh, as a person, I want to make sure I'm using the right words. Well, certainly, I mean, I can go through the acronym, if that works. Um, Two-spirit is, is generally Indigenous, um, Indigenous people, um, and that um, goes for their, uh, for their, for their history and, and embracing the two uh, embracing people that were different and then um then it's uh 
lesbian, gay, transgender, um, queer or questioning, and then... Um, I've never heard of that one before. Yeah, intersex or asexual is also in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. Now, I, with with your pride celebrations going on and everything like that, you know, if somebody's you know questioning themselves, and and I, I see the pride celebrations as being such a good resource for some people to come out and to learn and you know find somebody they can talk to, but maybe they don't want to do it in public. How do people get a hold of anybody for support? I'm thinking the P flag to start out with, but uh, for adults, is there a support people can call or? I'm gonna, there is a, um, there, there, he could, oh, yeah, sorry. He could reach out to PFLAG uh, by emailing us at uh, pflagvanark at gmail.com. And, and we'll soon have uh, a toll free phone number as well that people can call in uh, for support. Um, so that's, that's PFLAG. That's how you can uh, get a hold of us. Okay. Okay. Now I I, I have uh, uh, Michael's living in Mississippi Mills. Elizabeth, you're doing the Perth area. Armida, I didn't ask you what area you're from. I live out in Lanark. Um, I live just outside of the village, um, but I'm technically in the Drummond North Elmsley um, uh, township. And um, but the P flag chapter is going to be a Lanark countywide. Uh, chapter, so it will be um, encompassing encompassing all the communities, and we will try to uh, once in person meetings happen, we'll try to make them uh, a rotating meeting so that everybody has a chance to participate. And um, <laughs> sorry, a little buddy. We we love special guests and, here on FYI. <laughs> and um, so. So I, but I live just outside of the village of Leonard. All right. All right. Here, we've got somebody being supportive of you here doing your interviews. That's what we're all about here. <laughs> well, I thank you very much for joining us today. Again, a collaboration of, of uh, we've got three different areas here uh, today. Uh, Smith Falls isn't here, but we're, we're representing Smith Falls. I could do that. I'm from Smith Falls. I will represent Smith Falls today. So thank you very much for joining us again. I've got Elizabeth Snyder. I've got Michael Litrickley Lancaster and Armida Sawan and a special guest in the background back there. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for everything you're putting on uh, for Thank June you. is Pride Month. And, uh, and, and just keep the, the, the proud moments going on. And uh, let's do this. You bet. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Thank you Thank very you. much for joining us.